Hello and welcome to Sai's macOS setup guide for Renter D. Renting on Sai means you upload files on the Sai storage network to other users who have made their space available. The term renter is used to describe an individual entity that creates storage contracts with hosts. Using Renter D, you'll be participating in Sai's storage marketplace. In this video, I will guide you through the simple step to set up Renter D on your macOS. First, ensure that you have a stable internet connection for undisrupted network access as Renter D interacts with the Sai blockchain. Your operating system is compatible with the correct and latest version of the Rent D software, and your system is up to date to enhance security and performance when using Rent D. First, head over to the official SI website and navigate to the Rent D download section. Here you will find the version tailored for your operating system and build. Select the correct macOS version of Rent D and click the download button. Locate the downloaded Rent D file. If it hasn't automatically unzipped, simply double click on it and it will create an unzipped version. Select the unzipped folder, then right click the same folder on the path bar at the bottom of the window and select Open in Terminal. This will launch a terminal window directly in the Rent D folder. Lastly, we need to move the Rent D binary to a more accessible location. In the terminal window that just opened, type the following command to move it to the user local bin folder, then hit enter. This command relocates Rent D, making it easier for you to run it from anywhere on your system. You will also be prompted in the terminal to input your system's password to authorize the move of the folder. For good practice, we will also make a Rent D folder that will be utilized specifically to store the data related to the software. Now that we've successfully downloaded RentD in our operating system, it's time to create a RentD wallet. This wallet is the key to managing your transactions within the SIA network. When you create a new wallet in RentD by typing RentD seed, a unique 12-word phrase will be generated. As soon as the 12-word phrase appears, take a moment to store it somewhere safe. Cannot stress enough how important this step is, as your recovery phrase is the only way to regain access to your wallet if needed. If you lose it, you lose access to your wallet, and more importantly, to any funds stored on it. There's no way to recover your wallet without this phrase, so treat it with the utmost care. We're now ready to bring Renter D to life on your macOS. Open your terminal and run the following command, Renter D. This simple command initiates the Renter D software. Once you've run this command, you'll be prompted to input an API password. This is a password of your choice, and it unlocks your Renter D UI via the browser. Remember to choose something secure yet memorable. Next, you will need to enter your recovery phrase. This is the 12 word recovery phrase you generated and safely stored earlier. Type it in carefully, ensuring that one space between each word. When entering the API, password on the recovery phrase you won't see the characters you're typing in the terminal so for ease you can just copy and paste it in and press enter these values are not stored anywhere on rent d they will be requested every time you start rent d so it's important to keep them accessible yet secure you've now got rent d running and it's provided you with an address to access the rent d ui at local host to access the rent d ui open your browser and navigate to the address that would have been provided in the terminal which by default would have been local host this is the gateway to the Rentity user interface where you can manage your renting activities within the SIA network. Remember to keep the terminal window open where Rentity is running. If you close it, Rentity will stop. Once you're on the Rentity UI login page, you'll be prompted to enter in your API password. This is the same password you set up earlier. Enter it to unlock and access Rentity. Congratulations, you have now successfully set up Rentity on macOS and accessed the UI too. This is the first step in your journey towards renting storage space on the SIA network. Like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos.